Hey. Hey. You never came to bed last night. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to help Ian plan the memorial service, plus there's, there's so much paperwork to do for the county, I just wanted to take some of that off of his shoulders. Yeah, I know. Hey, you are the very, very, very best man I know. But while you're so busy taking care of everybody else, oh, Doc, who's taking care of you? I'm fine, Lucy. No, you are not fine. I'm not fine. Everybody is not fine. For God's sakes, don't... Doc, Eve is dead. Hey. Hmm. Thought you might want some company. Sure. We're having a party, bud. How about a stiff one? Hmm? Before breakfast? Hmm. I'm sure it's happy hour somewhere in the world. No, 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 not there. <laughs> that chair belongs to the lady. Here. Two olives. I, I really don't think I'm several. Right. You get several. There you go. Come on, man. You can't stick around if you're not willing to play. Upstairs last night in my old bed. I just didn't want to go back to Lucy's without Rafe, you know. It's just sort of a little too much. And plus, you know, we spent some time here, which was really sweet, so I I just sort of wanted to stay close to everything. Oh my god. I blew this out last night, and know I did. If this burn all night, then. How come none of the wax is burned down? is dead. That's why I didn't sleep all night, okay? Okay, that's a relief. At least you're saying... Because there's so much to do. Now, look, I promised Ian that we would come by this morning. I think we should probably pick him up some coffee, maybe something to eat, because I doubt he's thinking about food. What are you, what are you doing? Why won't you just talk to me? All right, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, fine. You want me to talk, I'll talk. I... I am so angry that a person so young and vital had to die. And, and I'm, I'm so sad that that little boy doesn't have a mother anymore. I, I'm so sad for Danny. And I guess I'm feeling a little bit guilty because all the bad things that Eve did to me, I would retaliate every time, you know, I had to get her. And I'm so glad 
But at least we had the chance to put some of that stuff in the past before she died. Okay, I said what I feel. A little bit of it. Can't you give me a little bit back? What are you feeling? I'm feeling that you should drop it. Oh, my God. Duck! Please! You were married to her. She no, was your wife. No, she was married to Ian. Now drop it, Lucy. I tried you at your house last night, and uh, Rafe wasn't there either. I know. That's because he's gone. Allison, I'm really sorry. Are you? Yeah, of course I am. I don't like seeing you unhappy. Good, because, you know, I could really use some support right now. Actually, I am. Um, I came over for another reason. My father called me this morning. There's been an accident. Who was hurt? You know how I see the roads have been lately. Livy, who was hurt? Not hurt. Eve Lambert was killed. Oh my God. She was killed? Yeah. Oh my God. She was the fifth chair. Hey, what are you talking about? Reeve, he, um, he told me that when he was supposed to go back, that he was supposed to help somebody cross over. And there was supposed to be an empty chair waiting, and they were supposed to sit in that, the, the fifth chair. He thought that it was supposed to be me, and that I was supposed to die. No, and Rafe told you that? Yeah, no, he told me lots of stuff. Oh, my God, Libby, I need, I need to go see Ian and, and tell him that I know what it's like to lose somebody that you love. Hey, no, 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 Allison, you can't be serious. You're comparing your loss with Ian's? Well, I guess you just wouldn't understand. Have you lost it completely, Allison? You've had this fantasy boyfriend for like five minutes, and you have the nerve to think that it's like Ian losing his wife or Daniel losing his mother. Now that is sick. Well, I don't know where it went. It's a little box your mom gave me. Um, she said not to open it before the honeymoon. And I don't know where it is. I put it down. And maybe not her words exactly, but about up here. Leave a message for Eve, Ian, or Daniel. Bye. Ian, it's Colleen. I was wondering if there's anything you might need, anything at all. No, nah, it's all right, but we got it I'm covered. I'm so sorry for what you're going through, Ian. And the boy, we got it covered. What a mess. I was very fond of Eve. Okay. We all were. It's got to be here somewhere, right, boy? So. Didn't uh, just go legs. Please call and let me know if there's Didn't just go legs, did it? We'll find out. It's okay. And kiss that beautiful baby. It's okay. With me. You know, I wonder why people can't just leave us alone. Give us a little respect. What do you think? Ian, it's us. Hi. I can't find it. I... Find what? Find what? Honey, thank you. Come here, sweetie. Eve gave me this box that, you know, it's a little, little box, and I, I can need you to put it down somewhere. I don't know where it is. I mean, she trusted me with something. I don't know. Okay? It doesn't it doesn't matter who hurts the most. Livy, pain is pain, and, and whether or not you think mine is important or not is no matter to okay. me. It's just that my heart is breaking, okay? okay? Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just sorry. Please don't 
Don't trash my relationship with Rafe, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, but, like, we're both upset, everyone. I know. So what is all this stuff? Um, it's, uh, my great, great, great grandmother, Rebecca, you know, <laughs> she, um, she actually made all of these candles and stuff, and, wow, they're really beautiful. Actually, I, I lit this one for Rafe. I'm, I'm sure you probably think that's really stupid, though. No. Allison. Listen, I'm sorry. It's just that you are my best friend, and I love you, and I don't want to see you hurt. It's just that it seems like every time we turn around, somebody is losing someone, and it hurts. You know. You know. She was such a sucker for me. She would always tell herself, no way, no more martinis with you, Chris Ramsey. No way. <laughs> I'd always come up with some kind of stupid excuse to, you know, to get her to drink with me again. Hey, it's Tuesday. How about a cocktail? Or, uh, I, hey, I didn't wake up with a hangover. Let's drink. It was, it was classic. You would have loved her. Yeah, I know I would have. You know, I actually tried to get her to marry me. <laughs> and she said, nope. I should have, I should have uh, pushed it, you know, pressed a little harder. I don't know, maybe, maybe she'd still... Chris, don't go there. Don't go there. Okay, girlfriend, I won't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Hey, you know what? Why don't you let me take you home? Oh, no, I'm good. No, 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 I don't want you to be alone right now. Mm. I'm fine, really. You sure? Yeah. Well, I'll call you later and check in with you, okay? Yeah, you got it. Besides, I'm not alone. I'm with my best friend. <laughs> Did you find it? Uh, it's not in the bedroom either. You will find it. Maybe, maybe you left it at the hospital. Yeah, maybe I did. Maybe I did. You've, you've got a lot of help right now, Ian. Victor and Mary will be sending a week's worth of meals over from the restaurant, and Lucy and I will make sure that someone gets over here every day to help with Danny. Palmas Beach. I drove all night to watch the sunrise. It's quite a drive. Oh, it's quite a sunrise. She didn't want me taking this picture. I saw them embarrassed by it, but I couldn't take my eyes off her. Isn't it funny how something could be so alive one minute and then just... She's not gone. Yeah, enough with the platitudes. I can't handle it. Maybe not, but I need to say it. I don't think Eve's gone at all. I think she is up there somewhere looking down right now on you and Danny. The only comfort I can have right now is to hold my wife in my arms. If you can't handle it. If you can help me with that, then let's, let's not have that conversation, okay? Okay. You know, this one is really beautiful. Yeah. You know, blue's your color. You should take that one. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Don't wash out your hat. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh, you know what? I have to, um, I have to meet Jack. Oh, right, I forgot. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Keep you. But call me if you need anything. Livia. I'm... I'm so sorry about Eve, and I'm, I'm really sorry. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Call me. Okay, I will. Bye. Bye. Oh my God. It was Eve. After all that time of worrying, it was, it was Eve. I can't believe it. God, I can just. I can just picture you, you both up there right now, you're just like cracking up. You are so lucky, Eve, to have Rafe up there in heaven to help you. That must make it so much 
so much easier, you know? Oh, but Ian. Oh, my God. This is... This is not going to be easy for him at all. Oh, I forgot... I forgot to check to see what Libby's candle said. It's probably, like, comfort or beauty or strength or something. Where is that one? Where is it? Oh, here it is. She didn't take the comfort. Oh, good. This one. Okay, let's see here. Candle, let's see if you can... Work your magic for somebody who really needs it right now. A candle? Wow. Oh, it smells wonderful. Where's it from? Um, I, I don't know. I don't see a card. Someone must care a great deal about you. Okay. Uh, we'll call you, okay? Okay. okay. Hey, uh, could you um, just look at me for a minute? Lucy, I'm fine. Really, I am. Doc, if you're fine, that means you're lying to me or you're, you're made of stone. Please, please, just look at me. What are you doing? Are you being strong for me? Are you being stoic to somehow protect me? I don't need that, Doc. I, I need you to let go. You loved Eve. I know that. And she changed your life. She changed all of our lives. We owe her this. So please, will you please let go and just grieve for me? Please grieve with me. Doc, please. I can't imagine you walking through the door right now. Do that for me. <sighs> I looked in this couch a hundred times. Instead of the ones you've lost. All my love, Eve. I can feel you now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where. Where's all my stuff? Uh, Nana! Ah, there you are. Now that's uh, much better. Where is all my things? What, where's my stuff? You mean Rebecca's things? Those were antiques. They were trash. Oh I gave God. them all to charity. What? I was only gone for a few minutes. Well, Terrence came and took them all away. It didn't take long. Oh, my God. I really, I'm really very relieved with all those old candles around here. There's nothing but a, a fire hazard. Man. Oh, and that painting. Oh. Why? Why do you hate her so much? I don't understand. She was grandpa's great grandmother. Okay, and she was she was beautiful and she was talented. And what is so awful about some old candles and, and clothes and things? She was evil. Oh, Nana, really? She's been dead for like over a hundred years. How would you know that she's evil? Everyone knew. She was a witch. She cast a spell on everything she touched. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But... <sighs> 
stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. Close. He was just really freaky, man. I'm kind of hey, hey! Don't you ever talk about Casey like that, all right? Where did you take her things? Forget about her. You have no idea what you're getting into if you don't.